Polycystic ovary syndrome is one of the most common hormonal disorders that affects women, and this September is dedicated to PCOS awareness. Studies show one in 10 women deal with this every day. We talk with an endocrinologist about the increased risk of the symptoms. One of the most important things to recognize about PCOS is that it can be associated with a future risk of type 2 diabetes or even cardiovascular disease down the road. So recognizing it as a young person is really important to prevent these things from happening in the future. It's also associated with an increased risk of um, adverse outcomes in pregnancies. Dr. Polly Reddy at Diabetes and Endocrinology Center of Ohio says that PCOS can increase the risk of gestational diabetes, miscarriage, and high blood pressure in pregnancies. So knowing that you have this condition before planning a pregnancy is important. How do you treat PCOS? Dr. Reddy says it's all in your lifestyle. The cornerstone of treatment with PCOS is diet and exercise. Uh, we know that because so much of PCOS involves treating something known as insulin resistance, we focus on telling patients to work on a healthier balanced diet, generally lower carbs and higher protein, higher wet vegetables and higher water, along with uh, regular exercise. Along with that, we often use a medicine that treats insulin resistance known as metformin. And there are other agents that we can use to too, because we really tailor PCOS treatment based on sort of what symptoms are really going on. And the experts also sometimes prescribe a low dosage of birth control to help treat PCOS. It really is important to talk with your OBGYN or endocrinologist for the best recommendations.